Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are going to derive an equation for the velocity of the second body after one dimensional elastic collision. So first of all, we shall know what do you mean by one dimensional. That means before and after the collision, the bodies are moving only in one direction. Elastic collision. Collision means uh, there may or may not be a physical interaction, but if there is a transfer of kinetic energy and momentum happening between the two bodies, that is called something like collision. If both momentum and kinetic energy are conserved, that kind of a collision is called as an elastic collision. So, the bodies are moving in the same direction, only in one dimension before and after the collision, maybe in the opposite direction also, but they have to be in one direction. Both momentum and kinetic energy are conserved. That's what do you mean by elastic collision. In that case, I need to find the velocity of the second body after the collision. So let us consider a scenario like there is a body of mass m1 moving with a velocity u1, another body of mass m2 moving with a velocity u2. Let the collision is happened. First body has got a different velocity v1, then the second body has got a different velocity v2. My aim is to now calculate that value of v2 itself. Anyway, being the collision is elastic, momentum is conserved. As momentum is conserved, I can write initial momentum of the system m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equal to final momentum of the system m1 v1 and m2 v2. Rearranging the terms I can write m1 of u1 minus v1 equal to m2 of v2 minus u2. Let me call it as equation number 1. Being the collision is elastic, it's not only the momentum that is conserved, Kinetic energy is also conserved. I mean to say, initial kinetic energy of the system equal to the final kinetic energy of the system. Initial kinetic energy before the collision, half m1 u1 square and half m2 u2 square being u1 and u2 are the initial velocities. Final kinetic energies are half m1 v1 square and half m2 v2 square. Cancelling halves and again rearranging the terms m1 of u1 square minus v1 square equal to m2 of v2 square minus u2 square. Let me call it like equation number 2. Dividing 2 by 1 gives a kind of an analysis m1 of u1 square minus v1 square from the second equation m1 of u1 minus v1 from the first equation here m2 of v2 square minus u2 square from the second equation divided by m2 of v2 minus u2 m2s and m1s can be cancelled this is in the form of a square minus b square which can be written like a plus b and a minus b that is u1 plus v1 into u1 minus v1 v2 plus u2 into v2 minus u2 divided by v2 minus u2 so these terms will be cancelled you got an answer like u1 plus v1 equal to v2 plus u2. Rearranging the terms, we can get to a conclusion like u1 minus u2 equal to v2 minus v1. This is 
relative velocity of the approach before the collision equal to the relative velocity of the separation after the collision u1 minus u2 equal to v2 minus v1 now i want to calculate v2 so i shall eliminate v1 so i can write v1 as v2 minus u1 plus u2 substituting this v1 value in equation number 1 Well, substituting this value of the v1 in equation number 1, I can go back as m1 of u1 minus v1. In the place of v1, I have to write this value. What is that? v2 minus u1 plus u2. m2 of v2 minus u2. Rearranging the terms m1 of u1 minus v2 plus u1 minus u2 equal to m2 v2 minus m2 u2. Again, expanding the terms m1, there is u1 here and there is another u1 here, therefore. 2m1 u1 minus m1 v2 minus m1 u2 equal to m2 v2 minus m2 u2. Let us take v1 terms to one side and u1 and u2 terms to the other side. 2m1 u1, I will be taking this to the other side minus m1 u2 this will be plus m2 u2 equal to m2 v2 this will be another side plus m1 v2 it implies 2 m1 u1 plus m2 minus m1 of u2 equal to m1 plus m2 of v2 Getting that m1 plus m2 into the denominator, I can find the velocity of the second body as 2m1 u1 divided by m1 plus m2 plus m2 minus m1 by m1 plus m2 of u2. That's it. That's the equation that I want to derive as the final velocity of the body after one dimensional elastic collision. In this way, we can find the velocity of the body after one dimensional elastic collision. In this derivation, we have assumed that both the bodies are moving in the same direction before the collision. If that's not the case, if two bodies are moving in opposite direction before the collision, Everything else could be the same. U1 I shall treat it as positive. And in the place of U2, I have to treat like a minus U2 and just get the same equation once again. That means in this place, I will be getting a minus U2 or here I will be getting a minus. That's how I can solve the problem even if the bodies are moving in the opposite direction in the case of one dimensional elastic collision. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for this IIT JE and Neat Physics YouTube channel for more and more video lessons free of cost. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.